Okay, this is part two of making our ornament and learning how to do inventor in the process. So now that we have created a uh, three-dimensional uh, view or, or object, we are going to go ahead and put that on a sheet so that we can print it and make it ready for the laser engraver. So now we've opened up a part already. We'll later get into uh, assemblies and, and presentations. But for now, we're going to go to a drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and click on drawing here. Okay. And by default, it opens up some things that I right away don't need. We don't need this default border, and we don't need this little title block here. So I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to right click on border, and I'm going to also hit delete. That makes this all go away. And gives us a blank sheet so that nothing weird will print uh, or burn while we're using laser engraver. Uh, I'm also going to change the size of this. We don't need this size. So I'm going to right click on sheet one and I'm going to go down to edit sheet and I'm going to change the size. Right now, by default, it's on size D. We can get into all the architectural engineering size of the paper. What you need to know is that's too big, that's 22 inches by 34 inches. We are going to go to use A, which if I look at this is 8.5 by 11. That's a normal um, piece of paper that we're used to using uh, in class. Um, so I'll say OK. And there you go. It makes our sheet smaller. OK, so we need to get our ornament into this sheet. So I'm going to hit base over here. Okay, And I'm going to need to find where my ornament is. So I'm going to hit the little magnifying glass over a file folder here and there it is by default it kind of goes to where I saved it but in case you couldn't find it again you could go back through and find it. It should be in the same file you had um, saved it to in the Christmas ornament or holiday ornament inside your IED folder. So there it is. I'll say open. Okay. A couple things. I want to make sure first of all that the scale is coming in is one to one. I want to print this full size. That's important. Um, if it looks like that's the case, I'm just going to say OK. And it puts it right there, and that's great. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over it. You see you get these red ants and this kind of these little four arrows. I'm going to click when I have those four arrows. I'm going to put it up in this corner because I want it to be in that corner uh, for printing. The, and that has to do with how the laser works. It prints from this corner that way. It'll make things easier for Mr. Myers when he's printing out your things on the laser engraver. All right. Uh, next thing I want to do is we're going to cut out this outline here, right? We want this to be a cut. Um, and we, I, Mr. Myers can explain it to you more as we get going, but for now, just bear with me. So I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click on all these lines. Okay, all the lines I want to be cut. And don't forget, if I zoom in here, there's these little guys here too, right? So I got to click on those. I want to make sure everything cuts. If that doesn't cut, we're going to have problems. And part of your grade would be based on do you follow directions well? Do you get those little lines? If you miss those little guys, uh, it won't cut. The laser will kind of be the truth teller, and we'll we'll find out how well you follow directions. But you should make sure everything's green and cut. And now I'm going to right click and oops, escape. I'm going to right click while the line is highlighted. There we go. And let's see here. Why is this not working? Oh, we lost it. Let me try this one more time. There we go. Selected. Everything's selected here. Right click. There we go. And I want this properties to show up. So I'm going to click properties. Okay. And I need to change a couple things. So the laser engraver, so you know, will only cut lines that are 0 .001 inches thick. So I need to change some stuff in here right now to make sure that the laser engraver understands that these are cut lines. So first thing I'm going to do is change line type to continuous. Then I'm going to change line weight to 0 .001. And finally, I'm going to change the color right here to black. And I'll say OK. And I'll say OK. And you can see that makes the lines uh, thin uh, in appearance, but also there should be cut lines. Uh, I can press Escape. We'll, we'll change those from green to black because they're not selected anymore. And we are halfway there, folks. 
All right, let's see what else we can do. So one thing we can do is put some text on here, okay? So I'm going to click on the little expand uh, thing here on my sheet one, okay? And I'm gonna click up here. Uh, so this is gonna let me look at my ornament, uh, see that there is on sheet one is the ornament um, right there. But I'll press, uh, I'm gonna make sure that's not selected. I'm gonna go up to sketch. I'm gonna go start 2D sketch. Okay, similar to how we did it before. And I'm just gonna select uh, the ornament. I can do this one or two ways. I, I, I can click on this shape with the ants around it or I can click on it over here. Either way, well, we'll make sure I'm sketching on my ornament. Okay, so there we go, sketching on my ornament. And now I can do some cool things. Like I can put in some text. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the text tool and I'm gonna go ahead and write, uh, you know, make a little box right there. And I'm not gonna worry too much about where it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and write Festivus for the rest of us. Anyone can tell me what that reference is and, and extra credit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select it. I'm gonna make it centered. Uh, let's just see how it looks. Let's say okay. So there it is, it pops in there. Now, if I, if I like it, great. If I don't, I can edit it. Let's go press escape. Notice how I have this little crosshair so it wants to make another text box. So I'll press escape. Get my little cursor again. I'm gonna double click on it, brings it back up. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna make it bold. All right, there it is. I like it bold better. Okay, ooh, that looks nice, looking better. I'm gonna move it down a little bit. Uh, I could, if I wanted to, change the size here uh, to one of the faults, or I could put in something else, 0.5, you know, I'm gonna make it really big. Whoa, way too big. I'm just gonna hit the undo button there and make it back to there. I also could double click on it again. Make sure to do this, you have to have it selected, so keep that in mind. I could change the font to something. I don't know, does that look cool? Whatever you want to do, you can play with that as much as you guys want. You can write whatever you want to hear again as long as it is school appropriate. Okay, so now I'm going to go finish sketch. All right, so there is my ornament. Uh, set up with some text on it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to manage and I'm going to go insert objects. I want to put an image in here and I've gone ahead and I've saved an image and, and just so we kind of are on the same page we can put whatever image in, image in that you want to. I, I'm using Google, you can do some Bing, they're very similar in how you do this. Um, I, let's just say uh, I want to put in a an elk, okay? Um, and I want an image of an elk, and I but I want like a line drawing of an elk. So I'm going to go uh, over here, tools. Uh, let's say I want type clip art, and you can play with these. Ooh, there's a nice silhouette of an elk. I could put in a um, couple things you want to make sure. Don't grab anything with these little, these are called watermarks on here. You want to avoid those. You, those would kind of show up weird uh, when you engrave them. Um, supposedly, uh, the laser engraver can do um, like these color images. Now, it won't, obviously won't do color, but it will put in like gradients. I don't have a lot of experience with that. Try it if you want, see what happens. I don't know. Um, but what I typically do is just stick with like kind of these black and white silhouettes. If they're not showing up as many as you want, you could do a couple things. One, I could type in black and white. Okay, I'm gonna get a lot better images. I also could type in like, uh, you know, silhouette here and make sure that I'm getting nice silhouettes. Um, ooh, that's kind of a cool one. You guys, someone could do like this cool bear guy. Whatever you want, uh, you can grab it. Essentially, then what you do is you right click and you say, oops, let's go back here, sorry. Uh, let's see here, let's say I can pick this one. Uh, I, it, it brings it over here, I right click on it and I say save image as and then save it in the same folder you're saving all your other stuff, okay? So you can see I saved a buck here and this, this image here, I'm gonna use this image for, for mine now. So I'm gonna go cancel because I don't need this. But there's kind of the rough, quick and dirty way to grab some, some images. Um, so I'm gonna, I got, I clicked manage, I click insert object right here, okay. Uh, once I have a file saved, um, there's lots of ways to put them in, and I don't have a lot of experience with all of these, but I'm just gonna go create from file. 
I'm going to go browse. Okay, by default it went to the file everything's in already, so that's good, but I could find it if I need to. I'm going to choose this one. Okay, and I will say okay. Now, it brings it in really big. Okay, so I'm just going to click it over here and I'll deal with it in a second. Uh, so I need to shrink this down, so I gotta get those kind of two arrows. Oops, and it's kind of tricky, I don't know why, but let's see, kind of hovering over here. There we go, let's get that kind of nice and small. Zoom in, oops, now, now it does that. Oops, there we go, there we go. And I can put George right here, and let's see here. And I can expand him, make him a little bigger. It's okay if he comes outside of um, the the edge. The edge of him can come outside. It's not going to hurt anything. So let's just make him. I kind of want to do his big face to be as big as big as much ornament as possible. Let's go a little bigger. Kind of move him up here like that. There we go. That's great. Awesome. Okay. You have now uh, set this up correctly to be printed by Mr. Myers. There's a whole other step with the printing, but now it's set up correctly. So again, last step is file, uh, save. Make sure you save this in your folder, your holiday ornament folder, inside your ID folder, call it whatever you want, and so forth. And then this file, I only need this file, and then the key is it has a dot dwg at the end of it, meaning it's a drawing file. This is the file that I need turned into Google Classroom uh, and then I can use it to print from. Um, and if again, if you did everything correctly, it should be false. If you didn't, we're going to need to have a conversation uh, about what, what, what didn't go well. Um, but that will be the one. Now again, I already have one saved, so I'm, I'm going to hit cancel. I'm not going to save this one. Uh, but you guys will, and you will turn this file and this file only into Classroom. All right, guys. Uh, can't wait to see what you guys come up with. All right.